Well, it's that time in every traveller's life when their health insurance expires. And I happen to be in Davao, in the Philippines. And so I've been assessing my options. And kind of like swimming through a crocodile infested swamp, the various private insurance companies around the world have got all sorts of tricky little clauses and things that they want to impose upon you, especially as you get older. In my inquiries with one multinational insurance company, they asked me if I had any pre-existing conditions and I said no, but I do take medication for cholesterol. Uh, it's one of the most commonly prescribed medications in Australia and it's a precautionary thing. It reduces your cholesterol level to keep you healthy. Their reply to that was, oh well, we'll have to take heart out of the policy. And then someone told me about Phil Health. So I've come down to investigate. So there it is across the road. I've just been in and I spoke to the information people who were very helpful. Uh, and I said, look, do you have uh, Phil Health for foreigners? And they said, yes, we do. It's 17,000 pesos a year, which is pretty reasonable. Uh, and then I said, okay, so um, can you tell me about it? And so it goes a little bit like this. Phil Health has a schedule of payments that they make for given conditions. And that's what they pay, regardless of what the hospital charges. So you need to find out how much the hospital charges to have any idea of what percentage of the total bill your Phil Health cover would cover. And I gather the hospitals have different rates. So you'd need to shop around a bit, but you wouldn't want to do that, or you wouldn't want to be doing that when you had a broken leg. Also, from what I gather, Phil Health doesn't have any age restrictions on joining the fund. Well, I've just come back in quickly because I wanted to check something. Uh, and that was, is there an age limit? So how old's too old for Phil Health to, to cover you? When will they say, no, 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 you're too old we're not going to give you insurance. And the happy news is, never. And I said to them, oh really? Well, what if I came in and I was 100 years old, shuffling in on a Zimmer frame? Would you still give me insurance? And they said, yep. And then I said, do you require a person, or perhaps a senior, to have a medical? And they said, no. And see, that's one of the things I like about this country. I mean, the health insurance policy may not cover everything, but it covers everyone. Just been talking to my friends here and uh, I want to go to a hospital because I want to try to find out how much they charge for certain procedures because I've got a pamphlet that says how much Phil Health would pay if you had that procedure. So if, if we can do that then we can figure out around about how much it is. Now I've heard from people that it's around about 50% and of course one of the conditions is that you need to spend 24 hours in hospital for the health fund to kick in. So if you're looking for maybe a boob job or a facelift or hair extensions, you know, Phil Health won't be the fund for you. All right, we've come to CHDC Hospital. I don't know. I, I haven't heard of it, but let's go. the hospital and had a chat with uh, the billings department and uh, it's it's quite a, a difficult thing to ascertain uh, but if you were to have a cesarean section uh, to give birth by cesarean section PhilHealth would give you 19,000 pesos they estimated that the bill would be 150,000 pesos if you were to have your appendix taken out, which is called an appendectomy, PhilHealth would give you 24,000. They estimate that the operation would cost around about 160,000. But this is a private hospital. So I'm going to go to a government hospital and see if the schedule of charges is perhaps a little less. Because I want to figure out around about how much uh, cover I'm going to get when I join PhilHealth. We're in another taxi and we're heading to SPMC Hospital, which is a government hospital, which is the Southern Philippines Medical Center. And we'll find out there uh, what their prices are, but I'm getting hungry. 
I'm at SPMC Hospital and I'm at the billing section. So I'm just going to find out as much information as I can. Oh, okay, that was interesting. Well, I went inside and they were extremely busy. And they certainly didn't need an Australian vlogger giving them a headache. But, after being shunted around all over the place, I, I got a couple of prices. And I'm really quite surprised. All right, so the two quotes I gave you last time were one was for an appendectomy and the other was for a caesarean section. So the uh, appendectomy was 150,000 estimated at the previous hospital. At this hospital, the government hospital, the estimated price is around about 55,000. So that's about a third. With the caesarean section, it was 160,000 estimated all up at the previous hospital. Here, they've given me an estimate for the operation, but not the medicine that you would require afterwards. So I, I don't really know what that means, but the operation is 5,200 pesos. All up at the previous hospital, it was 160,000 pesos. So you can see there's a huge difference between the private hospitals and the government hospitals. Uh, so that's something to bear in mind. And at 5,200, at 5,200 for the caesarean section, PhilHealth is paying 19,000. So you would think that perhaps in this particular case, for a C-section, a caesarean section, uh, PhilHealth might actually cover it in total. And so all of these thoughts are popping into my mind as I'm walking away from the hospital. Now, one of the things is, with the private, the international private medical insurance companies, you go and have the procedure done and then you make a claim. And then uh, often they claim that it's a pre-existing condition and you don't get any money. Whereas with PhilHealth, you show your PhilHealth card and the payment that PhilHealth is going to make is paid automatically. And so you pay what's left over. Another taxi, we're heading back to Echoland. Well, we're back in Echoland and uh, just heading to my favorite Carinderia where I come just about every day for lunch. Oh, it's jam-packed. Can I have chicken adobo, please? And kang kong and rice, as usual, please. All right, before I sit down, uh, what's the upshot of all of this? Well, it's 17,000 pesos per annum. It's a pretty cheap policy. Uh, and so, you know, it, it looks like at times it could possibly cover certain things. And at other times it might only cover maybe even 20, 20, 30%. Um, so it's not full coverage and it's only for big things. It's only if you're admitted to hospital. Uh, so it's something and perhaps not enough for some people. I'm not sure whether you could supplement it with another policy. Uh, I'm really not sure if you could do that, so that's something for you to look into. Um, you know, th this isn't a collab with PhilHealth. This is just my investigation to see if it's worth, worth me taking, and I think I will. I'll probably go down, maybe not tomorrow because I'm vlogging, but maybe the day after, and, uh, and I'll pay for a year. And this is Raquel, one of the sisters who owns this place. Hello. How often do I come here? <laughs> yeah, every day. <laughs> yes. And just about every day I have the same thing. Chicken adobo, kang kong and rice. And it's delicious. Yeah, that's his favorite every day. <laughs> that's your favorite, kang kong and... Chicken adobo. Chicken adobo. And a cup of rice. <laughs> Kong chicken adobo and a cup of rice. Doesn't get any better than that. Yeah.